Welcome back. Sorry, it's been a about a month hiatus. Uh, honestly, I just haven't had much to film. I've been waiting on prototype parts for the S2000. So I think we're just going to call it a year kind of early, unfortunately. Uh, trying to get some prototype stuff done on the car and going back and forth sending parts and stuff. And it's not ready to drive yet. So we might do like a middle of the winter event if we don't do big upgrades this year, which I don't think we're really going to plan to do anything that big. But we do have a new project. I took the S2000 to put stored in a garage. And right now we got a new project to mess with. Well, not new, it's old. As you guys have seen, this has been in the back of some of the videos for a while now. And I put a hole through this block because this motor was originally hydro locked, had a rod knock. I thought it was maybe just a lifter noise. I used to start this thing up, hold it on the limiter, try to blow it up because I just wanted to put a three liter in it. It's a slick top uh, factory manual car. I already put my cheetah seats in here. It's unfortunately the gross brown interior, but it is a factory rear wheel drive manual wagon with a slick top, which is rare. Uh, I put the sport wheel in here too that I had laying around. But we're getting this motor out that has the, the old 2.5 with the hole in the block. And I picked up this three liter on Marketplace, which honestly might not be that great because I pulled the flex plate off of it. Uh, it was out of an auto with 120,000 miles. I pulled the flex plate out and it was just full of water. Um, the guy sent me some money back. He offered to refund it fully, but I didn't want to drive all the way back to where he was. And he seemed honest, so him to you know, be able to refund me and offer the half off if I wanted to keep it, which was my idea. I thought he's probably telling the truth. So, spins over fine. Um, put some oil in the cylinders just in case I had water in them. And spun it over, seems good. Might do a leak down test on it before I spend the time to actually put it in here. But we're going to be putting a three liter in here, but putting a three liter in, we also have to convert this car from MS42, which is the ECU that this car runs on the operating system to MS43. So that car luckily came with a, or sorry, that engine luckily came with a ECU, uh, wiring harness and some of the stuff that we need to do the MS43 conversion. A couple of the other things we're gonna to need to do is uh, MS43 is electronic drive by wire uh, pedal. So this is a cable pedal, which you guys can't see because it's dark, but cable pedal, we have to put an electronic pedal in the car because it's gonna have e-throttle. Also, while we are having it out of the car, we're gonna put an M50 manifold on it uh, just to simplify working on it because the M54 manifold sucks ass. Like, look at, there's so much, shit everywhere we don't want that do an m50 manifold so we'll use the seams legit garage kit for that uh probably weld the oil pump nut or do the safety wire while we have it out I'm trying to think what else we're doing catless headers because this still has stock headers on it um and i have a set of catless headers that are laying around and honestly i'm probably just gonna make this into like a low power fun daily car hopefully the ac works when we're done uh, I don't think it worked before, but I never tried to put Freon in it, so it might just have a leak. So that's why I got this sitting off to the side like this, to hopefully keep whatever Freon's in there and not have to recharge the whole entire system. Um, but I think I'm going to drop the whole subframe out, uh, do all the reinforcements, all the bushings in the rear, subframe bushings, diff bushings, trailing arm bushings, the typical E46 starter pack that you need to order with these cars when you want to start drifting them because I would like to beat on this car a little bit and not have to worry about it. And I want it to feel solid. Probably do all the front suspension stuff. I actually have an old CNC 71 angle block kit for it and SOR lollipops. So we actually have a little bit of angle to throw at this thing as well. We need to get some wheels because these things are super dry rotted. And actually the rear wheels are completely locked up, like completely locked up. And we had to push it in here with the truck and it dragged it through the yard. So, um, like I said, sorry for not making a video for so long. Uh, I've already pulled the front end of this part. I should have filmed that, but I didn't do that either because I've just been lazy. And it's been honestly so nice not working on anything and just being a lazy video game playing piece of crap. All right, guys, motor is out. So uh, the rod knock that we had definitely was a real rod knock because she put a hole right through the block, buddy. Oh, and I just broke my crank sensor. Cool. Here, I'll put that just right in here. 
yeah, yeah, put it right in there. But motor's out. I got the trans off already and the cats on the other side, which I'm not gonna rotate this. But I need to figure a way out to get this out of here. Super tight. And I want this junk motor gone out of my yard, out of the garage, out of the way. So uh, I might end this video here because I don't know how much further I'm gonna get. I'm waiting on gaskets and stuff for this three liter. So um, yeah. I think I showed you guys me about to try to put the old three liter in that I bought. It was junk. Leak down tested it every hole, but one was a uh, complete leakage. Bad head gasket, I'm sure. Um, so I got impatient, decided I want to buy a motor. So I overpaid at a junkyard. I paid $8.50 for this motor. Um, already started to strip it down some. I weld, tack welded the oil pump, sprocket to the gear because these like to spin these nuts off pretty much a necessity on three liters that you need to do if you're going to drift them um so i just got the oil pump buck or oil pump and pickup back on uh put this pan back on just so we can seal the bottom of the motor and then i actually got to make a run to the junkyard because i still got to get the drive-by wire pedal and some wiring connectors that i'm going to need to steal to do the ms42 to ms43 conversion on this car so let's get this oil pan back on and then head to the junkyard <clears throat> all right guys uh we just got the Clutch Max Super eBay Stage 5 600 uh, attached to the motor and our ZF. This is a ZF out of the S2000 from last year that we are going to repurpose so we can have a decent trans behind this motor. Uh, this is a 3 liter from the junkyard. We got the wiring harness kind of up in here. I'm not exactly sure where everything goes to. Um, I think this stuff's all garbage. But we're going to try to get the motor into the car now and. Uh, keep working on this thing once we get it set in the car i think we'll make pretty quick work of everything else to be honest pretty excited all right guys three liter is in m54 b30 cf is in um i still got to take off the um tie strap that we were lifting it from and we got quite a few things to obviously button up still uh we're not going to do the intake manifold because we are doing m50 uh manifold with the seems legit garage stuff and they want us to take the car there so they can uh change their kit up a little bit they want to, they've been using supplying a hose kit and they want to make their own custom hose kit to make it better so they offered to uh do this on my car so once we get everything closer um we'll trail the car to seems legit and let them work their magic on putting the m50 manifold kit on here and then probably hopefully after that we can maybe fire it up I don't know where I last left off, but uh, we got the motor in, um, <clears throat> serpentine belt on, alternator on, most of the stuff plugged in that we can as far as the wiring harness. Like I said, we can't do this till we take it to seems legit because they do want to do the M50 manifold stuff there, which is fine. So for putting a three liter in an old 323 car, uh, this is an MS42 car, um, you need to convert it to MS43 to be able to use this three liter. Um, so there's a couple things you got to do which we already did remove the factory cable pedal and we've put in this bracket for a electronic pedal. Um, so that's ready to accept the, <clears throat> that's ready to accept the standard electronic gas pedal, which we have right here, um, which this is out of automatic, which is why it has the kick down, but it's very easy to remove the clicker, which I'll show you guys that later. For everybody that doesn't know, auto e46 pedal with the kick down if you want to use it in your manual car you can use it with the kick down button obviously this is kind of annoying or you can take these screws out on the side it's literally just this clicker right here pull this clicker out the very top just sits right in there no more no more click all the way down <clears throat> but we need to basically things you're going to need to convert from ms42 to ms43 is you're going to need this pedal the bracket to mount it to the car this connector which uh you'll want a big pigtail of wiring off here or if you can get the whole wiring all the way to the dme up here that's also works good um but you at least need this pigtail and the opposite end pigtail which seems to be hard to find but i finally did get it today which is this 40 pin connector that's up here on any ms43 car um we're basically gonna connect these two and i'll show you guys more of that when we get to that but so you need that pedal the pigtails and also um we're going to convert to electronic throttle 
We're gonna convert to electronic throttle for the throttle body as well. So you're gonna need a three liter throttle body and the pigtail for the uh, connector also for the throttle body, which I have over here. And some people, you just, they repin it and leave open wires up there. I'm gonna actually physically cut off the, I'm gonna physically cut off the MS42 connector and put this connector straight to it. Just so it's cleaner and we don't have to worry about um, cutting or having open wires up at the top. We'll just have four open wires down at the bottom, which is hidden. All right, so I just finished up all the MS42 to MS43 wiring, which is all in here. Um, I got the pedal installed and all the wiring for the pedal, put all the interior back. I'm about to put my old handbrake for my old E46 back in this car. I already took the center console out. You have to get rid of the um, the armrest if you want to be able to put it where I put it, which is right here because I like the pull-up style. And I have a, even the mount for my old car is still here. So I'm just going to weld that back in, which is what I'm about to do now. And uh, we might call it a day. And I'll probably wrap this video up because uh, it's a lot of random shit again. I'm good at doing random shit. But uh, thank you guys so much for following along. If you guys like this build, like I said, please leave some comments, subscribe, some likes, hate, whatever you want. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this car. I've ordered a bunch more parts for it. Um, I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one.